Wallace Lloyd Algy, VC, the 10th of June 1891 to the 11th of October 1918, was a Canadian Expeditionary Force officer and a recipient of the Victoria Cross, VC, the highest award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. A soldier with the Canadian Expeditionary Force during the First World War, he was posthumously awarded the VC for his actions on the 11th of October 1918 during the Hundred Days Offensive. Early life Wallace Lloyd Algy was born on 10 June 1891 at Alton in Ontario, Canada, the son of James and Rachel Algy. His father was a medical doctor whose practice covered Peel County, near Toronto. The family later moved to Toronto itself. Algy was educated at Alton Public School and when his schooling was completed, he worked in banking before entering the Royal Military College of Canada. After graduating as a lieutenant, he served initially in the Queen's Own Rifles of Canada and then the 40th Regiment. First World War in April 1916. Algy enlisted in the Canadian Expeditionary Force, a brother having already volunteered to serve in the First World War. Initially posted to the 95th Battalion, he was later transferred to the 20th Battalion, which arrived in France the following year to join the 4th Canadian Infantry Brigade on the Western Front. He took part in the Battle of Hill 70 and in the subsequent operations around Lens. On the 11th of October 1918, during the Hundred Days Offensive, the 4th Brigade was supporting the 6th Infantry Brigade in an attack on the German-held village of Iwui, northeast of Cambrai in France. Aware that German soldiers were bringing up more machine guns, Algy led a group of volunteers past the battalion's designated area of operations and captured two machine guns, which were brought to bear on the Germans. In doing so he secured the east end of Iwui and returned to his lines for reinforcements. He was killed when leading them back to the area under the control of his men. His actions on of October contributed to the capture of the entire village later that day, for which he was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross, V.C. The VC instituted in 1856 was the highest award for valor that could be bestowed on a soldier of the British Empire. The citation that was published in the London Gazette for his VC read: "For most conspicuous bravery and self-sacrifice on the 11th of October 1918, northeast of Cambrai, when with attacking troops which came under heavy enfilade machine gun fire from a neighboring village, rushing forward with nine volunteers, he shot the crew of an enemy machine gun and, turning it on the enemy, enabled his party to reach the village." He then rushed another machine gun, killed the crew, captured an officer and ten enemy, and thereby cleared the end of the village. Lieutenant Algy, having established his party, went back for reinforcements, but was killed when leading them forward. His valor and personal initiative in the face of intense fire saved many lives and enabled the position to be held. The London Gazette, 28 January 1919 Algy's body was retrieved and he was buried at the Commonwealth War Graves Commission's Niagara Cemetery at Iwui, 5 miles, 8.0 km, northeast of Cambrai. Victoria Cross on 28 March 1919, Algy's father was presented with his son's posthumous VC by the Lieutenant Governor of Toronto. The VC was later sold at auction to Lord Ashcroft in 1995 for £17,800, and is on display in the Lord Ashcroft Gallery at the Imperial War Museum. The exact whereabouts of the other medals that Algy was entitled to, the British War Medal and the Victory Medal, are not known but they are most likely in the possession of a collector.